Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. Today doing the what's next on Shavkat Rakimov, the former world title challenger, the undefeated former world title challenger as he returned to action last weekend, scored a second round knockout victory over some unknown opponent. It was just a stay busy fight, shake off some rust uh, since his um, courageous uh, 12 round draw with Joseph Diaz who came in overweight. And, uh, back in February, the title went, was vacant, <clears throat> the IBF title, and because of the draw and because Diaz was overweight, the IBF granted Rakimov another shot at the title, but he, uh, and it was going to be a rematch against Azinga Fazil, but um, Rakimov had to pull out with an injury, so, so when, excuse me, so when that happened, um, they did next man up, which was Kenichio excuse me guys, which was Kenichi Ogawa received the next shot and that um, that left uh, you know, Rakimov in the position where what I'm hearing is that he is going to be allowed to compete for, he's going to be allowed to compete for the um, for the uh, the title next against Kenichi Ogawa now that's not 100% in the stone but his year's pretty much tied up, guys. So I don't want to waste your time uh, with what ifs when it looks like his year's pretty tied up, which basically it would look like this. And the reason I say it's pretty tied up is because if he's next in line to fight Kenichi Ogawa for the IBF title, then um, after him, would go. Uh, he has another mandatory in Zelfa Barrett. Zelfa Barrett just became the mandatory number one contender. Um, which means he'll get the next shot. So if Rakimov beats Kenichi Ogawa, which I think he's going to be likely the favorite, but it's not going to be an easy fight. But if he beats him and becomes the champion, his first title defense is likely going to be against Zelfa Barrett of the United Kingdom. So Rakimov looks like he's got his 2022 20, already lined up in what he's going to do, which really it's going to make him, he's already a serious player following the way he performed against an overweight Joseph Diaz. He's already a serious player. This just makes him ten times more serious with a uh, with a with a win. You know, with the um, with, with what he's doing. You know, uh, if, if, if grabbing a hold of a world title belt and, and what by that point could be a wide open division because Oscar Valdez and Shavkat and and Shakur Stevenson are going to try to hopefully unify belts at some point and they can get that fight done. And then we're going to see. But I like uh, Rakimov. And I'm glad he's getting this opportunity because, you know, he deserves it. He fought his ass off against a guy who came in overweight and and a guy he was already an underdog against, and he fought to a draw. So to me, that's kind of like a victory because the guy had an unfair advantage over him. That's kind of like a victory, and boom, he moves forward towards a um, another – he moves forward towards – another shot which he deserves so that's going to be an interesting one when he gets uh kenichi ogawa in the ring I'm, i think it's going to be an all-action kind of fight but that looks like what's coming next for shavkat rakimov so i highly doubt there's going to be anything else because this is what is supposed to be happening so i'm not going to waste your time and go through other things or even what he's going to do after ogawa when it looks like the the level of the field is pretty clear of what he's going to do. So that's it. That's what's next on the former world title challenger, Shavkat Rakimov. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.